morning everyone. I'm coming to you this morning from Prayer Garden in St. John the Evangelist. beautiful tulips in the garden that are breaking into bloom and then the statue of St. Francis given here in loving memory of someone and then the coins that are laid at his feet the ministry It's a um, beautiful day to be here. I would like to show you the lake again because the water gives me peace and pleasure in being outdoors. It connects me to God's nature wanted to let you know about a couple of things that are going on in the parish. Um, this Sunday, we are going to have a special day presenting Deacon Ken Citarella, who will be joining us to preach and to tell us about part of his ministry, which is being involved with the EFM ministry. It is a ministry of the Episcopal Church, but also includes others. Um, and it's a, it's a ministry that anyone can share in and join in, and Ken's gonna come to our parish and talk with you about what it is and answer any questions that you have. And he will be preaching at both services, 8.30 and 10. <clears throat> Ken is the deacon at St. James in North Salem, a sister parish of ours. We are going to be exploring how we can engage together in joint ministries in the coming months to help us understand our role in the world and how we can benefit each other in the ministries that we share together. We will also be having those discussions with St. Luke's and Katona. I have been meeting with individuals from that parish to talk about how we can share with them and how they can share with us and our ministries together. So that's something that's going on in the parish. Also the, what's going on is a a study and a discernment regarding our coming back together again once the pandemic has cleared and we all have the confidence to worship together. We will be talking about how we get everyone back, how we uh, come back to worship together, whether we will continue to have two services or join together as one. A lot of that will depend on how many people we can have in our sanctuary at a time, how many rows or how close the rows can be together, which will determine in part how many people we can have in our worship service. So. That discussion has been initiated with our vestry. We met this past week to talk about all of that, and we'll be talking again about that at our next vestry meeting. So if you're able to give input to your vestry as you see them or to, or to me as you see me about your thoughts on that, we want to find a way to come back together, not only strong, but also in consideration of all of your own personal needs and desires and schedules and all of that. So we want to get back together, but we want to get back together in a way that is nourishing for ev everyone or at least as many people as we possibly can. So you're, you are all in my prayers. I love you guys. I have missed seeing some of you over the last year who have not been able to come but some of you are trickling back 
and I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful for the fact that you feel comfortable coming back to worship with us and we will continue to do our live stream on Sunday mornings and I will continue to post our service on YouTube and send out to you a link to that service uh, every, every week so that you can continue to follow us and I would invite you to reach out to me with any pastoral needs that you have and to continue to be involved in our ministries at the parish. So God bless you all. Good to talk with you. It's finally great to be to have warm enough weather to get out here again to this beautiful spot where I so much enjoy coming to be able to talk with you and to share with you my experience here. God bless. I look forward to seeing all of you soon.